In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. On this All Saints Day, God invites us to be saints in our own everyday life. Let us take a moment, wherever you may be, in your own prayer space, to bring ourselves in the presence of God, a God who invites us to be saints, who unconditionally loves us, and acknowledge our unworthiness to approach this altar. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God, he called in a powerful voice to the four angels, whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees, until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed, a hundred and forty-four thousand, out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne surrounding the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the, before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words, 
Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my Lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? who shall stand in his holy place. The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Lord, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, We are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Surely everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you that labour and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown to them. Happy the pure in the heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The 
the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ as i mentioned in the beginning of the mass on this all saints die god invites us to holiness and this week's wednesday communion my reflection with each one of you i wrote saying be human be holy if we need to become holy we need to be really human beings we need to have that humane nature in us unfortunately we live in a world today where we don't see that humane nature demonstrated expressed in a way that people are cared loved and that is a challenge to die with each one of us and this all saints die is an apt occasion for us to reflect and see what we can do to change this situation a call to holiness is a call to give a love care compassion of god to be an example for others all the saints whom we venerate today are people who have given some sort of an example of a love of god to people whom they met to people who they encountered with to people who live today to people who have gone before us so they were clear examples of love of god and today's readings is an apt reading again the beatitudes all saints are in one way a tangible expression of the beatitudes they were people who went through that narrow gate they were the people who went through that struggle the pain to bring that love of god to others so our duty is to bring the love of god the light of christ to people around us i've shared this story with you in the past but i think it's worth revisiting and reflecting again of this young mother taking her 5 year old son to the church for a visit she occasionally does that she pays a visit prays her own personal prayers and this 5 year old boy and as you would know 5 year old boys they don't sit quiet they are so energetic they move around so while the mom young mom was praying this 5 year old moved around the church and there are a number of statues in that church and he would go and stand underneath the statues he would look at the face of the statue for some time and he will come and ask his mom who is that and mom would say that is jesus christ okay five year old needs an answer nothing else he doesn't want any explanation he just need an answer he got an answer and he would go again move around and he went and stood underneath of another statue and he asked his mom who is this oh that is the blessed virgin mary mother of jesus he was happy perfectly fine and he again moved around and this beautiful church has got a lot of stained glass windows on a beautiful sunny day through these stained glass windows beautiful images were coming into the church and this child went and stood there and he could see images on his body all his all over his body this different colors coming in and he was playing with the color on his hand and moving into different shapes and all those things then then he went and asked his mom who are they the mom said they are saints 
But for the first time, he didn't stop there. What do you mean? Who are saints? So the mom said, saints are people who let light shine through them. And that's what you see in your body. Look at your body. It's like you, that they are allowing that light to come through them so that you are getting the reflection. What a beautiful image of God. Saints are people who let the light of Christ, the love of Christ shine through them so that we can experience it in our own everyday life. In other words, they are a mirror of God's love on earth. And today, we are invited to become that mirror, that saint who will let the light and love of God shine through each one of us to people around us. We have clearly expressed this during this pandemic lockdown in our own parish. We shared this light with our own fellow parishioners. We cared for them. We loved them. We prayed for them. It's an invitation to continue that in our own journey. And in this journey, I think uh, we can take the examples, the shortcuts practiced by the three Teresas, the fifth Teresa of Avila. And she would say, recharge your spiritual batteries every day by prayer, namely listening to him and talking to him. Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus would say, convert every action into prayer by offering it to God for his glory and for the salvation of souls. And by doing God's will to the best of one's ability. And Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, she would say, do ordinary things with a great love. And this is how we can become a mirror of God's love. A saint who let the light of God shine through to people around us. Let us profess our faith. We pray the Nicene Creed today. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man for our sake. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
brothers and sisters gathered as God's church in this generation let us bring our prayer to God for our needs and the needs of the world the pope francis and archbishop christopher may they lead us with humble and gracious hearts with the saints we pray lord hear our prayer for those who are poor in body or spirit may they find strength through the generosity of others and comfort from their faith with the saints we pray lord hear our prayer for ainsley noah and heidi our newly baptized may jesus walk with them and guide them throughout their lives with the saints we pray lord hear our prayer for our community during this time of pandemic may we continue to support one another through safe practices continued vigilance and kindness with the saints we pray lord hear our prayer for those who have died and those who mourn we pray especially for jamila martinez who passed away this week may she be resting peacefully with our lord and savior with the saints we pray lord hear our prayer with all our spoken praise let us also bring those prayers that are unspoken in the depths of the silence of our heart god of all time you have given us the saints model on christ as example of the, of the christian life hear these prayers and help us to bear witness to your gospel with courage and conviction we make our prayers in jesus name amen blessed are you lord god of all creation for three a goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever It is the name of the Lord and wine bringers of dignity of Christ to who humble himself of humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you O Lord and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for today by your gift we celebrate the festival festival of your city the heavenly jerusalem our mother where the great array of our brothers and sisters 
already gives you eternal prize towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both a strength and good example and so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest I'm using third eucharistic prayer today. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you a prize. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself. so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free Therefore O Lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice 
of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Christopher our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give a kind admittance at your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. In an appropriate way, let us acknowledge the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but will you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Eternal life is our destination. As we are unable to receive Jesus, physically at this point of time, with a great desire and love, 
to receive him spiritually that he comes and lives in us transforms us to a new human being who would mirror the love of god to people around us we are the image and likeness of god to people around us blessed are you the poor who trust the father with your lives for within your heart is born the kingdom of the lord blessed are you the sorrowing who know your father wise for within your heart is born the kingdom of the lord blessed are you the lowly ones who know your need to share for within your heart is born the kingdom of the lord blessed are you who searching souls will draw you to god's care For within your heart is born the kingdom of the Lord Let your light shine for all the world to see The brightness of your life within the peace that set you free Let your light shine give your father praise let your light shine for all the world to see the brightness of your life within the peace that set you free let us pray Yes, we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints. We implore your grace, so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god